Ho, Miss Howell here with the You Teach It Math Study Guide. Today, we will be working on Venn diagrams using multiples. I'll give you three seconds to get your paper and pencil. Oh, also, we're gonna use the book today, page 13. A couple nougats when dealing with multiples. Remember the difference between multiples and factors. Factors are the numbers that you get that go into a number. So remember when we did uh, prime factorization, it was factors of 12. What numbers can go into 12 evenly? So with 12, it was one times 12, two and three. I'm sorry, one times 12, two and six, and three and four. Those were the factors we multiplied together to give you that number. But with multiples, it's simply the multiplication facts. So on page 13, we use 10, 20, and 30. The key thing about multiples, which is different than fractions, is that I have to tell you as an instructor or whoever your instructor may be, we would have to tell you how many multiples to look up. We can't just say do the multiples of 10, 20, and 30 without giving you a stopping point. So on page 13, we did the first six multiples of 10, 20, and 30. So we're gonna do multiples. Then diagram. First six of each, so we got 10, we got 20 and we got 30. So together, the multiples of 10 or the first six multiples of 10, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. And we're stopping there because it's the first 10. I'm sorry, the first six. 20, first six multiples of 20, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120. 30, the first six multiples, 30, 60, 90, 120, 150, sorry about that, and 180. And just to give you something to think about, it was 10 times one, 10 times two, 10 times three, 10 times four, 10 times five, and 10 times six, and so forth, okay? The key thing with Venn diagrams, you want to figure out what they have in common. Okay, so we're gonna do three circles. And I'm gonna be honest, it really doesn't matter which circle you want for which number. For me, I just always go from left to right. So I do 10 here, 20, and 30, just for me. Keep in mind that everything in this circle, on this side of the circle, is for tens only, multiples of tens only. Here, multiples of 20 only. Here, multiples of 30 only. This space here, simply multiples of 10 and 20. Here, 10 and 30. Here, 20 and 30. And this special place here is for all of them. That's where they all connect. So again, 10 and 20 connects here. 
10 and 30 connects here, 20 and 30 connects here, and they all connect right there in the middle. Remember, never to use commas when you are listing your multiples or factors, if you were doing factors of numbers. Never put commas inside those regions because it mixes you up, okay? Never use commas. All right, from there, let's look and see what they all have in common. And the reason we're doing what they all have in common is because once you use those multiples once, that's it. You can't use them again, even though they may have, all of them may have something in common, you cannot use it twice. So here we go. What does 10, 20, and 30 have in common? 60. All three. Yeah, I see that 30 and 10 has 30 as a multiple, but it's not for all three. I see that 20 and 10 has actually 20 and 40 in common, but they're not common with all three of the given numbers. So we're only focusing on the 60. Put it here. There's no other multiple that 10, 20, and 30 all have in common. So that's done. Nothing more to do there. And I'm just checking myself to make sure. Nope. Okay, so let's go with 10 and 20. We have 20. We have 40. Yes, we had 60, but it's already there, so we're not using that again. So, 20 and 40 are multiples of both 10 and 20. So again, we're gonna put it right here in that region because that's for 10 and 20. Twenty and forty are multiples of ten and twenty only. Let's do thirty and ten. And again, let me cross these out so we don't get confused. We cannot use those again. Ten and thirty has thirty in common. The multiples of both 10 and 30 only would go here. And we said that it was 30, so we're gonna put 30 there. And let's go ahead and cross them out. What about 20 and 30? What does 20 and 30 have in common for multiples? 120. And we go here. Let's mark them out because we're finished. We're just checking ourselves to make sure there's nothing else that's in common between any of those three numbers. And this is the quick and fun part. There's nothing else left between the three or between two of the three. So we simply, whatever's left for 10, we put it here. Cancel it out because it's done. 20 has 80 and 100 left. And 30 has 90, 150, and 180 left. Notice how I spread the multiples out so you can see them, they're not cramped together. Sometimes you have to cram them together but try to leave a space if you can. Um, but again, never put, most, never put commas in the regions. Again, with multiples, the book, your teacher, I will always tell you how many multiples you need to find for the given numbers. Six multiples of 10, 20, 30. 
is basically the multiplication facts. 10 times one, up to 10 times six. 20 times one, up to 20 times six. 30 times one, up to 30 times six. You find what they all have in common first, and you put it in the region where they all cross on the Venn diagram. 10 and 20 crosses here. 10 and 30 crosses here. 20 and 30 crosses here. Only multiples of 10 and 20 to go here. 10 and 30 here. 20 and 30 here. Everything that's left for just those multiples itself, for those numbers itself, will go in their region. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. Like, share, and comment. Thank you.